back to another video on my channel and today's video is going to be slightly different. As you can tell this has been uploaded and I don't normally upload today. Um, my usual upload days are Mondays and Thursdays. But if you saw Thursday's video you'll know what this is and what's going on. But for those people that don't, obviously you can tell I am on Java edition. Um, obviously I have Java now and we're going to be doing the August Redstone Challenge. So that is a thing that I decided to do because I would like to get better at Redstone. And to help me do that I came up with this challenge and I've got some other small YouTubers, small meaning um, under a thousand subscribers. Most of us have under 500 as well. Um, yeah, I think there's four other people. Um, so if you're interested, then this series will be going on every single day of August. These videos will be slightly shorter, um, but they will be going alongside my regular Monday and Thursday videos. And if you don't know what this is already, um, basically, each day we build a different redstone contraption which progressively get harder as the weeks go by and by the end of the month hopefully we're a pro at redstone so yeah I also mentioned in my last video that my java skin is slightly different as you can now see that is because I couldn't do my space ones um, when making the skin so I had to have my hair down, so that's why my hair's down. I've also got a bow on the back of my head. I hope you guys like what I've done with the hair. Personally, I love it. But yeah, so what we're going to do in this first episode is build an AND gate. And for those that don't know what an AND gate is, it's basically a gate where you need to have all levers switched on in order to have the output. Sorry if you guys can hear my hamsters squeaking in the background. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> um yeah so the other people who are taking part in this challenge is Master HJ, Mr. Redstone YT, obviously myself, Gunga, and you can actually vote on whose build you think is best over on my master general's website everyone's youtube channels as well as the website will be linked down in the description so make sure you guys go and vote we'll all be doing the same build each day they may be slightly different and one thing i would like to say is we are allowed to use a tutorial if we get stuck i'm gonna try not to if i can help it but obviously i may need to so today's build is building an AND gate. So let's get straight into doing that. So I could make a pretty simple one to start with. I think actually, oh that wasn't supposed to happen. I think what I want to do is have maybe a door that opens. I know it's really simple but I think that's what I want to do. So if I make this a bit, oh no, a bit longer, I'm going to have a door here and then maybe a lever here and here and then both the levers have got to be turned on in order for this door to actually open. So if I just go and grab an iron door a second, I'm also getting used to Java so I don't know where everything is and I also don't know what I'm doing apparently. Can you go off? To, thank you. So if I put the door there, obviously iron doors you can't open. As you saw by me just trying and placing another door. Um, I also need levers, which I'm going to put one, that's a pressure plate, one here and one here. And then what I need to do is go out the back and place in my, is that the right place? Yeah. Place in the redstone. So for an AND gate, I believe I need to have a redstone torch here, here, and here. A bit of redstone here. So yeah, that these levers turn off the redstone 
porch. So if I was to press that one, it's still off. And then if I was to press that one down as well, still off. Have I done something wrong? I think I've done something wrong. Um, yeah, so guys, this is what the aim of the thing is. It's just so I can learn, basically. Do I need, let me build a little one over here. I'm thinking that I might need the torches actually above the lever. Yes, right, okay, if I keep that there so I know what I'm doing. Uh, put my levers back. So I'm gonna actually have to break these, which is slightly annoying, but I have to come up with a way to maybe hide that. Um, I think I've got an idea in mind. Put the redstone torches up there. And then that there. That there, is that right? So it's still off. On. Okay, so as you guys can see, both of these, both, I can't speak, both of these levers must be on in order for this to happen. So now I just need to link up this torch with the door, and then I should have to press both the levers in order to get through this door, hopefully. Hopefully. So let me grab some blocks. Um, I kind of want to get this downwards. But I don't know where to go. If I go down here and down again, and then I can go, if I just break all this a minute, go through here, I'm going to have to go down again. Put um redstone here all along um i need that to go up there in theory so we need to make our redstone come here and then make it go upwards i believe <laughs> So I think that's all linked up correctly. If I just... Okay, maybe not. Um, if I... Put... Maybe a repeat going into that block with redstone. Does that work? Oh yeah, right, okay, cool. So, yeah, so as you guys saw... Both of these levers must be turned on in order for this door to actually open up. Right, brilliant. So what I'm going to do now is turn this into a little build. So let me just cover up my redstone that I've done. I need to think of something to put up here. Maybe if I grab some stairs I can put them upside down along here I think that looks good um maybe okay yeah I think that looks okay and then what I can do is oh, I don't know. Hmm. I'm thinking of changing these iron blocks actually to wood. I change 
change these all to wood a minute, I can make this look so much better. I'll keep the iron door because obviously if it's a wooden door, you can just open it and walk on through. And that's not quite the idea I'm going for here. And I need to make sure I put everything back in the right place. Let me just test that that still works. It will once I've put leafers back on. That's a button. Yep, brilliant. Um, I'm going to get rid of this and build a little, just a little house. Bring up the redstone I've done because you don't want to be seeing your redstone in your builds unless it's a redstone build, maybe. <laughs> I don't really know. But in this particular one, I don't want my redstone showing. I think it would look better if it's not. Uh, that can go there. I, don't, I want the house to look good. It's obviously very small, so it's not going to be brilliant, but I want to build this in the style that I normally build my houses in. If I can and make it look good because it's pretty small. Normally I build a decent sized house and obviously this part isn't usable because that's where the redstone is. So it is just an L shaped house. Bit weird, but we're going to go with it. Um, I think I'm going to grab some logs and add some definition outside that also will hide the redstone torches so I personally quite like that um I'm not gonna add those if I add that there I can put a fence here maybe uh where would fences be ah just here uh, let's go with spruce. I think spruce might look quite good with this. Yeah, I quite like that. Or... Mm -hmm. I'll come back to that. I'll come back to it. So I then want to add in just some more definition. Sorry, I forgot to turn off my Discord notifications, guys. I do apologise. Um, I might make these floor length windows. I think that might be quite nice. So let's just cover this up here just to make that look nice. Grab some windows. I'm assuming they'd be in the building blocks. Or would they be in decoration? Ah, decoration. Here they are. So let's just put these down i think this is looking pretty good so far guys hope you guys think so too um and some here obviously there won't be windows here because i don't want people seeing the redstone if i can help it which i think i'm doing a pretty good job right now um we need to do a roof so let me grab um i don't know where are the stairs are here so we're gonna need some oak let's just start off with oak for now i think we're gonna keep it with oak i know it's not much of a block palette but like i said this is just a simple thing this is just a very simple it's nothing special. I am going to put a bed and maybe a chest in there too. Because why not? Um, okay, so what I need to do is build up the front where I want the stairs to go. To the roof. It's just going to be a normal A-line roof. Maybe not too high, maybe just there might look good. And put 
Okay, so it's the middle, it's not a middle section. So if I do this, just to add some more definition, guys, as you can see, it does add some. Let me just. This isn't working. And the rest of the stairs. I'm just going to cut away a sec, guys, just to get this roof finished, and I will be back. Okay guys, so this is what I have come up with for our build. Let me just do a quick walk around. As you can see, I've changed the outlining of the roof to be cobble. And I've added some leaves and stuff. I've also added an interior, we'll get there in a minute. Um, I think it looks quite nice. I quite like it. It's a good little starter house, easy to build in survival. Um, maybe you wouldn't have a starter house that uses an AND gate to get in your door. but. Oh well, <laughs> that's what we're doing. Um, so yeah, just to get in, obviously it uses an AND gate. And yeah, unfortunately you do have to leave the door open until you leave, but we've got a few chests, some paintings to make it look nice, graphic table, furnace, another chest and a bed. So this is a pretty good little starter house if you guys were wanting to build this. Um, but yeah, like I said, you probably wouldn't use an iron door and an AND switch gate thing, whatever you want to call it, and gate, to open up your front door on your start house, maybe for a bigger base, or maybe you can use it for something else, I don't know. But yeah, this is what I have done, I've used the and gate to open my front door, and I'm actually really excited to see what everyone else has come up with for day one of the August Redstone Challenge. So, like I said at the start of the video, guys, go and check out all of their channels. There's Master HJ, Mr. Redstone, YT, and Gunga. Also, go and head over to my Master General's YouTube channel. He's not um, actually taking part in the channel. He's the one where you can go and vote. But you can't vote on his channel. You'll be voting on his website. So, I'll link both in the description. Um, make sure you go check out everyone else's videos that they've done and then head over to my Master General's website to go and vote on your favourite. And I hope you do enjoy this series. I think it's a really fun idea. And I can't wait to do all the other videos for the rest of the month. And hopefully I'm a pro at Redstone by the end of this. So yeah. Make sure you guys head over to their channels, check out what they've done, make sure you subscribe to them as well. And also head over to my Master General's website to vote on which one is your favourite. You can vote every single day for each build. And we'll see who wins, I suppose. So if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to go down and leave a like. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'm looking forward to this series. I hope you are. Please leave a comment telling me what you think about my little build here. I hope you do like it as much as I do. And I'll see you all tomorrow for the next day of the Redstone Challenge. Bye!